60-year-old gentleman was referred to us for the favor of evaluation of pancreatic pseudocyst uh, following an episode of acute gallstone pancreatitis. As you can see on the dates here, uh, it was done on 10th of September 2010. This patient had an episode of acute necrotizing pancreatitis in January 2010. Uh, you can see a pancreatic duct is a little prominent, around 3.5 millimeter in the body, and patient uh, continued to wait for eight, nine months for the pseudosis to resolve spontaneously. However, the pseudosis, as you can see here, uh, on endoscopic ultrasound, has some debris and uh, did not resolve spontaneously even after nine months. So. Since patient had postprandial fullness, pain, uh, patient was referred to us for a feasibility of uh, endoscopic drainage or EUS guided treatment. Uh, we started EUS guided uh, cystogastrostomy treatment way back since 2000, uh, year 2001 in India. This is more than a decade that we've been doing EUS guided uh, drainage or so you can see it's about 7 centimeters by 6 centimeters. On color Doppler studies, we wanted to find out are there any s vascular uh, aberrations such as uh, pseudo aneurysms. You can see some collaterals though, uh, very close to it. And therefore, it's imperative uh, to identify the safe window to puncture uh, this pseudocyst. So you can see that there is possibility of some ductal communication uh, and therefore it has not resolved. So you can see the pseudocyst here. Uh, about 70% of the contents appear clear. There's some debris. You can see some collaterals here, probably to splenic vein thrombosis. Uh, after initial evaluation, uh, we will now try try and target uh, which is a safe window uh, for us to access uh, the pseudocyst. And uh, this is a non-bulging pseudocyst as you can see here. We are somewhere in close to the antrum and now we are making a puncture with a 19 gauge needle. So you can see I'm puncturing with a 19 gauge needle. A uh, lot of experts of EUS, they believe uh, the balloon is not required, but we prefer to use a balloon uh, to stabilize the tip of the scope while we are puncturing across. Now we have left a guide wire through the EUS needle, and I'm withdrawing the EUS needle out completely. As you can see here, uh, we are changing it for a duodenoscope. So we took out the uh, EUS scope here and we switched over to a duodenoscope in order to facilitate our procedure uh, more aggressive. So this is what you can do if you want to change the scope and if you want to put uh, larger bore stents or multiple such stents and if you want to do necrosectomy, uh, this is how we do with a duodenoscope. I'm pushing the catheter in and this is a cystotome. So I'm using a 10 cent cystotome. You can see the pyloric opening on the left of the screen while the cystotome is burrowing through the wall of the stomach and the pseudocyst wall. You can see the uh, electrosurgical current being used. And um, we were able to get across and you could see fairly uh, clear fluid draining there. Now, it's a standard practice uh, that we will not dilate this too much. Uh, we will dilate this maybe to 6 millimeter, as we know that the fluid is fairly clean, though there is some debris. Um, I don't think we need to actually go and do necrosectomy for this patient, as appears to be a, a sterile necrosis there. We have taken the fluid for culture and sensitivity as well as for amylase uh, levels and CEA as well as uh, cytology. But uh, this is looks like a clear-cut case of a pseudocyst of pancreas, non-resolving even after eight, nine months of uh, attack. So after balloon dilatation with a six French uh, or a six millimeter balloon, biliary balloon, as you can see, we are inserting the 
uh, guiding catheter over a guide wire with a duodenoscope. You can see the tip of the duodenoscopy on fluoroscopy. So whenever we need to uh, do more aggressive intervention, we sometimes do change over to a duodenoscope to facilitate more aggressive uh, multiple 10 cent stent placements or nasocystic catheter or you need to do more aggressive uh, therapeutic intervention, we can change. So you can see here, now the markers have gone in and uh, the first marker has gone in and we are gently withdrawing the inner catheter. You can see the coiling of the stent, the inner pigtail which has released and now the outer pigtail has released. Uh, successful deployment of a double pigtail stent, you can see there is no evidence of oozing or bleeding and just in front of the pyloric opening on the posterior wall of the stomach and this completes the procedure.